Hello there YouTube, thanks very much for joining me, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we've got another Sunday vlog for you. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about what's been going on for me this week and stuff that's coming up and stuff that I've seen that I thought was pretty cool and uh, just me generally rambling. I'm going to try and keep it reasonably short but we know what, that happen what happens when I do that. Um, it's been a busy old week. It has been a busy old week. To be honest, today I am just chilling out. The wife is out for the day. I am. Uh, I've been uh, cuddling the dog all morning, and uh, that's not a euphemism for anything. And um, <laughs> so, really, it's just been chilling out. My beard's a mess. My hair's a mess. Got out of the shower and just went. Fuck it, that'll do. Right. So let's have a look. Let's get started, shall we? I've just made myself a coffee, so we can get into things and uh, and see what's what. Now, we've had a few reviews this week. I was quite quite proud of myself. I meant to do uh, a fifth one for the week, um, but just life, you know, it, did, it didn't it did didn't allow me to do it. Um, let me just check that we are using the right microphone. Yeah, I just, I just recorded 10 minutes of this before realising the microphone wasn't on after dicking around with something that I'll talk about in a bit. Um, so that was fun. So yeah, I think we're working now. Uh, so, right. Stop saying, ah, oh. The week that's passed, the Conqueror review happened. Massive fan of the Conqueror. I think it's really, really good. Really like it. Really enjoy using it. Everyone's a winner. Really like the smoothness of the airflow. Not so keen on the windows on it. It would be great if they had, first of all, if they had a replaceable glass. And second of all, if uh, if they, you could have a different sleeve for it, that would be awesome. But I don't think that's going to be overly likely to happen. Um, in the Segeli range, we've, we've got something else coming up that I will tell you about. We've got the Moonshot RDA. That happened this week. Another one that I really enjoy using. It's a fun little RDA. And now pictures of the 24 miller out as well. It's looking, uh, it's looking very, very promising indeed. I'm certainly hoping to get my hands on one of those bad boys. Um, hope you like the interview that I put in that review as well. I thought it might be interesting to see things from a different perspective. You don't often see it in uh, in reviews, so I thought that that uh, that might be interesting for some of you guys to to check that out. Um, then we had the side by side, which I've actually been using this morning. The side by side um, from Athena, the NV twenty two. Uh, this I've got. I've had the Vapor Giant in this Vapor Giant Mini in this today. Uh, I had to go out and take the wife's car to go and uh, get fixed from uh, from Bob. If you're watching, very nice man. Thank you very much. And um, so yeah, so I've been using this. I still think the battery life on it is great, and uh, it's a very enjoyable mod. Um, now, when I did the review on this, and I think possibly for the Helve as well, a week or two back, uh, there's a lot of comments about people saying, "Well, you can get you can get ones that do more for for less money." Oh, yes, you can. Well, yes, yes, you can, absolutely. But not everybody wants super complex bastard everything bells and whistles mods. It just you know, it's not for everybody. So. Um, I am all for these kind of super simple mods, and I've got one that I'm going to show you in a bit that's that's uh, coming this week that I'll show you. Um, and simplicity, there's a lot to be said for simplicity. Yes, we've got, I mean, things like the DNAs and the SXs are are kind of, you know, they're, they're pretty complex. I mean, especially the DNA 200 with eScribe, it's very complex to, to really get into the guts of. To make it just work, you can. But you know, to to understand it and all that sort of stuff, it's it's very very challenging for for some people, and <laughs> I'm probably one of those people as well. Um, but it's a great board once you get using it. However, there's a lot to be said for having the the easier to use boards, the more sort of straightforward stuff as well. I mean, things like Joytech have had some brilliant things with uh, things like the uh, what was it a while ago the Evic Mini, um, Wismec obviously with the RX and the um, Vape Forward stuff, Windy Pops. Um, and all that sort of stuff. And it's been really useful because it's it's been great to have a simple, easy to use bit of kit um, that's there in front of you that you can just bash into and away you go. Uh, it just looks as though there is a slight delay. I hope that doesn't come across on camera. Um, 
but no, all in all, so I, I recognise what people are saying when they're saying, well, you can you can buy a mod that does a gazillion more things. But some people do want to just pick a mod up, use it in wattage mode, and then carry on. And that, you know, you can't argue with that, really. And that's why, I mean, I, I like using this because it's pretty, it's pretty kind of... It feels good. I enjoy using it. And uh, it, it's simple, like me. <laughs> now then, what else has happened? The Kanga CL tank review. Yeah, that was... I've had quite a few people saying, kind of asking, would I buy one and all that sort of malarkey. No, in, in all honesty, currently I wouldn't. But the reason for that is that... It doesn't suit my vaping style. It doesn't suit what I do. And so because of that, it would be pointless for me to go out and buy uh, another one if I should lose that one. And that in no way means that I think it's a, it's not a good tank for a starter or someone kind of moving into their next level after an ego pen. Uh, I think it's entirely reasonable for that. The flavour is okay, the, 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 the air is okay, the production is okay. It's an okay little tank. Uh, is it anything new? No, 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 no it's not. Um, does the Cubis do it better? Cubis, Cuboid, Cubis. Cubis is the tank, isn't it? And the Cuboid is the model the other way around. Um, I don't know because I haven't got one to compare it to. But uh, but what I can tell you is comparing it to something like the IO, uh, AIO, 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 the all-in-one, uh, it had, does have a better airflow and it, it just it is kind of a natural progression, I, I, I would say anyway. And so that's what's happened this week. I did want to get uh, get the Plato out really this week if I could, but uh, but uh, yeah, I haven't been able to to do that. Still haven't got any of the sub ohm coils, so you're going to get a uh, a sort of not a half assed review because I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. But uh, I'm not going to be able to show absolutely everything because I'm not going to be able to use the sub ohm coil. So I think I'm going to keep that one pretty short and sweet because it's, uh, you know, if I can't show you everything, part of me wondered if it was worth doing at all. But I think it probably is. So, um, so yeah, I will do something on that in the very near future. If I get time today, I might do. You never know. Uh, but what else have we got coming up? We've got, uh, well, mm, I've been out buying stuff. And uh, as RDA Central, Woo -hoo -hoo. Evolution Vaping in the UK has the full line of Mason RDAs. Now I've got the um, the 24 mil on top of my Helv at the moment. Have I got any batteries in there? Yes, I have. Um, and I have been rocking this. This has got a, uh, an, I think it's an eight wrap 24 gauge parallel uh, in there at the moment. The air holes are pretty much off you know there's like half of one hole showing and oh, the air on it is redonkulous um if you want to wind these bad boys up and really kind of get everything open it's it just it's crazy it's one of, it's one of those it reminds me kind of airflow wise of the phenotype um, because it's just absolutely wide open. Just popping some, some wick liquor in here at the moment. Still on this bad boy. Got some more at jam, which I'm still working my way through. And let me just pop this in here. Right, so airflow, all the way open, you're breathing. You, it's, you, it's crazy it's crazy crazy air crazy air and even with the the thinner slots at the top blocked off there it's not really a requirement to be any area than that to be honest with you but it's a cracker it's a it's a little four post deck it's got a pretty deep g swell juice 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 well um this little section on the top is one of the heat sinks, much like the uh, the Alliance RDA that we looked at some time ago. Um, so yeah, that's that works along those kind of lines. Now, um, the full review on this is going to come up once I've got a fair bunch of builds in it and all that sort of good stuff. But uh, it's a beast, it really is. If you want a 24mm um, 
and you want something that just has a butt ton of air, then go for it. And the deck build space is, is pretty hairy as well. You've got quite a lot there. Um, with my rubbish parallel coil. I'm shit at parallel coils. Um, but on top of that, let's have a look. Let me, let me show you all of them while you're here. While you're here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Right. I will show you the 30 mil first. That is a fair size fucking dripper, by the way. If I pop the Velocity V1 next to it, look at the size difference. There's a monster in it. <laughs> it's a big, big bugger. But uh, super simple deck to build on. But that is, you can just wang in some ridiculous coils in there if you so wish. Uh, once again, Monster, Monster Air. I haven't built this 30 mil yet, but uh, it's going to be very, very similar to the 24, but bigger. Um, and you get bits and pieces to go along with that as well. The review will be that. I'm thinking about doing the, do I do these separately or all together? I haven't made my mind up yet. Uh, so that's the 24 and the 30. Now... <laughs> Those of you that don't like offensive RDAs, look away now. <clears throat> the 40 mil, 40 mil, four centimeters worth of fucking RDA. And are you ready for this? Are you ready for this bad boy? It is fucking huge. <laughs> Once again. With the velocity. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I've got four coils in there at the moment. There's no point in me putting them up close there. Um, the build deck is the build deck is massive. You've got four positive wire holes in the middle. You've got four positive negatives on the outside. You've got when I put these four in. It's only because I had a little bit of a hangover yesterday morning. I did have this monster sort of chain coil. I think, did, did I? I didn't say this in the last vlog, did I? I might have done. Um, I don't think I did. But I put these sort of chain coils in there, in there before. And so I thought I'd just stick four in. Had a bit of a hangover. Stopped at four rather than going to two, uh, to six. And um, oh my word. Oh my word. It's once again, Airy is just fucking excuse the language ridiculous it's so much air but with those four coils in there make sure i've got battery we're on a nice cheeky 150 watts there um it's coming out at 0.21 and it's it's ridiculous It's still a cool vape at 150 watts. And just to see see these bad boys going. <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely crazy, crazy stuff, but great fun. Um, so I will be, uh, I will be doing a review on all of those. It's a wee bit vapey in here now, and I've even got the window open as well. Let's use a Amazon. Totally worthwhile for something. Let's do some of that. That'll help. Um, yeah, so I will do a review for these bad boys for sure. Um, and they will be coming up um, pretty soon. And if I did mention those, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but I've actually had a chance to play with them uh, this week, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the others are the X1. Vapors Cloud have these X1 competition RDAs. Um, and I've got this one on my fogging sailor because it's copper and it looks nice. It's already starting to patina nicely, which, which I think is nice. Now, this I thought was a really interesting. I've got the the eight wrap uh, parallel on there as well. Now, it's not it's not the uh, it's not the prettiest, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to try and show you um, what you've got to play with with these. Now, you've got that under coil airflow, but you've got a flipping hugely deep deck. That deck is so deep you can get a butt ton of cotton down there. 
um, and it really reduces the chances of uh, of of kind of uh, dripping through your air holes. Um, I found it working absolutely brilliantly and like things are, I wouldn't say that this 24 mil is a competition RDA uh, maybe for tricking but not for clouds and the reason for that is you've got these air holes either side and it's um, it's it's kind of it's got restricted it it's more than the petri um, I don't know about the competition cap on a Petri. I need, I'd need to check that one. Uh, I, I think it may be similar. So it's more than a, as the the single holes either side in a in a dot mod. Um, it's got more than the normal holes in a tugboat. Uh, so it's it's a nice restricted airflow, and I've really really been enjoying it. The flavour I think is really good on it. Aiming just for the window there. Um, but yeah, it's not the quietest. There is a bit of volume to the old air on this one. But if you can cope with that, it's not all disturbed and all manky like the, the Magma Reborn was. Uh, but it is it is a little bit noisy. But I've really, really been enjoying it. Very, very nice. Now, they've got this, and this is a 24. Um, they also do the 30 mil, so you can see that it is substantially larger than the 24. Um, now can I take this out? And would you look at the build deck on this bastard? This is, look, look. Look at that. Holes for that. Look how deep that juice well is. Monster holes for... for all of your bonkers builds going on there. Uh, Phillips head screws, which I, I kind of, I'm okay with. And just that deep, deep, deep juice well. I mean, if we look at the, uh, I've got my, how's your father's here? If any age, let's have a little look and see. So it looks as though we've got about a six mil or five and a half mil deep juice well. Five and a half mil deep. Um, plenty of space there, either side where you're going to put your coils for your for your juice. I think is that doesn't the tsunami? I haven't got a tsunami to compare about, but I know everyone's gone bonkers about that. But doesn't that doesn't the air holes kind of in encroach on your on your wicking area i think it does i could be wrong uh but but that i mean this 24 version is basically the same but just everything's a wee bit smaller um but that is just this this is going to be an rda that i may use quite a lot uh but no i think this is really really cool and airflow obviously you've got much bigger airflow on this one now that is whilst again it's a little bit it's a little bit loud it's uh it's nice but it is loud. Um, but I really like it. Really protruding 510 as well. If you've got something that's 30 mil that you can put a hybrid on it, uh, you're good to go. But no, I'll be doing the full reviews and what have you on these as well, obviously. Uh, but I've just been enjoying sticking some builds in and having a vape on it. Um, now then, what else have we got to go with coming up? Um, I said about the 24 mil mason and the 40 mil mason, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, we've got the we've got the, still got the Inakin Coolfire Four uh, TC100 with this new uh, new Inakin tank on it, the I Sub V, which I'm really liking this tank. I am still really liking this tank. It's uh, you're not you're not going to be winning any cloud comps with this tank for sure. But uh, the couple of things I like about this, I prefer it to a bunch of the other Inakin tanks that I've tried. Um, I like the airflow for some reason. The um, the Inakin tanks have seemed to have a sort of a, a funky thing going on with airflow, and and this to me sort of has fixed that. It's, it kind of is normal. Um, so that's nice. Just noticed a bit of a. What looks like a crack or something inside the barrel. Well, that's odd. Let me see if I can show you this. Don't know whether it'll come up on camera or not. Okay, do you see right on the the thick bit of metal? Um, 
just around about there. See that? That's not looking good, is it? Don't know what that is, but it looks like a crack in the uh, in the sort of the bottom of the chimney area. Ooh. Right, well, I'll be taking that apart and I will report back. Um, so that's interesting. Bugger, I haven't broken it. The the cool thing with this is when you um, when you uh, go to fill it up, it has a kind of a spring-loaded affair in the top. So when you take this off, the chimney actually springs up a little bit, which I think actually stops the uh, the um, the the juice flow. So you can fill it up without it piddling everywhere, which is a bloody good idea. Uh, it makes it a little bit rattly, but uh, not when you've not when you've got it all together, obviously. But uh, but now I'm going to have to check on that, make sure I haven't done something stupid there. We'll check that later. Now then, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I have told you I know already about the Supremo little 70 watt mod. Uh, this will be coming up in this coming week as well. Um, looking forward to doing that. That's a really nice little mod. It's only a single 18650, but I've really been enjoying that as well. Now then, we have the Serpent Mini. That's coming up as well. I've been having it. I really like it. But... I've been using I've been using uh, grumpy custard. And you know that I use a lot of grumpy custard, so that's been my my juice of choice, and it's kind of been giving me a bit of a strange taste, like something's like hot legging and burning in there, or something along those lines. But I've taken it apart, I've recoiled it, and it, it's still doing it. So I need to. Uh, I need to get, go more into this one just to make sure there isn't any kind of bits of metal floating around that shouldn't be. Although, you know, I checked it before, so there shouldn't be. Um, but as far as size goes, great little size, super easy to build on and um, quite a, a pleasurable vape. Once again, a restricted lung hit. So no cloud competitions, but for an enjoyable vape, it's good um as long as there isn't i mean it's it's going to be down to me somewhere along the line i'm sure of it but there is one thing that i do want to point out on this one though and i might pop a couple of pictures up here about this i'll show you my build that's on there but you've got your build deck and um the wires have got kind of a couple of clamps and the wire sits in the clamp and you cut it off here so that goes like that you know so that's fine but if you don't cut it off close enough then that bit of wire sticks out this is the this is the clamp this hand is the clamp and this hand is the wire this bit of wire is sticking out um and it won't let you put the 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 chimney on because it, it's a very very tight tolerance so you have to cut it super flush to the to the to the to the clamps which is fine if you've got some of some sort of clippers that are, are super thin and super flush to go with things. Um, if you don't, and you have the slightest bit overhanging, I can see how there is a potential for shorting against the uh, against the inside of the chimney from the positive side. Now that is a concern of mine, and uh, I will show you more um when when we uh when we when we kind of do the review on it but that is that is certainly a, a worry and i can certainly see that that is a potential issue now i don't think that's what's causing this to have a bit of a funky taste because i have i've trimmed it so far back it's weird because it's not it's not like really it's not a bad taste but it's kind of, it's just every now and again you get kind of a little Don't know, don't know. But uh, but yeah, so, so far that uh, I, I just need to put some more builds in there and so on before I can review that. Uh, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I forgot to say. This is the Fog in Sailor mod that I've had for a while. I haven't reviewed this actually because this was made for us for the Ideal Home Show. All four of us had one, um, and uh, I think I think did Rick buy? I can't remember. Um, but uh, but yeah, so really enjoy it. It's a really great mod, but br terrible, terrible. I was going to say brilliant. That's no, not brilliant. 
terrible news this week was that the man that makes the Fog and Sailor mods is stopping uh, production of them in uh, in sort of any quantities. He's probably going to go back and do them now and then when he has time. But uh, but yeah, it's I mean just it's these are th if you haven't seen them before, these are three D printed boxes. But there is quite a percentage of wood shavings or wood chip or wood, I don't know, wood um, incorporated in that printing process somehow. So it kind of gets a, a woody look, but uh, but is is not. It's 3D printed, so it's plastic. Um, but yeah, basically it'll be such a shame not to see more of these out and about because they're great little mods. They really are. I think uses a uh, a Raptor 120 board in here, um, and so you know you can just build it for days and have a great time. Sad times, sad times. But Mr. Fog and Sailor Man, if you do uh, if you do see this, I hope everything goes well for the future for you. Now then, the other thing we've got something else new in today, not today, the other day, which you would have seen if you'd have, if you look at my Instagram or Facebook. And that's this big bugger. Now this is from V Park. This is the V Park. Um, this one's the TC one hundred and fifty, and they also sent me the V Park TC seventy as well. Now remember, I was saying about super simple mods. These are super simple. You've got a little wheel on the top here, which is off wattage Fahrenheit or on. And when it's on, it's just on. Um, the wattage changes the. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me. See. I wasn't going to do it, but I will. See if I can show you what's going on with this white one. Okay, so here's a board. It's very reminiscent of the Joytech boards. Um, and here's your spinny wheelie thing. So at the moment we're on. So we're just vaping away. Now if I want to up anything, what I do is I turn this... Hang on. Hang on. If I turn it to the, to the wattage one, like so, you can see the wattage, the word watt, has a little square on it. Now, if there's a little kind of retractable wheel here now, now if I uh, if I move the wheel, it moves the wattage, and you can keep your finger on it, and it'll scroll and all that sort of malarkey. But it's just really, really simple. Same for Fahrenheit, or same for temperature. Although it's got Fahrenheit, it will uh, do Celsius as well. Um, it's just a really easy to use mod, which I think is is excellent, and you know. I'm all for simple. I mean, that's it. That's all you've got to worry about. Um, temperature, if you don't want it, you just turn it down so it goes off. Uh, leaves you with wattage. Tells you your resistance, like so, and your battery percentage. Can't get much easier than that, really, can you? And this is... Um, these aren't new out. These have been out for a little while, uh, but uh, but I've only I've only just seen them to be honest with you when they when they sent them to me. Now I've got the uh, the Aeolus light on here at the moment at the uh, the cheeky sixty six point six. It's a dual eighteen six fifty uh, mod. Fires really quickly and is really really good. Um, it's quite wide. It is quite wide, but uh, but I'm, I've quite actually enjoyed that because it's quite thin. Now, the challenge here is that they sent this 70 as well, but it has a dicky button. You can hear how clicky it is when, I, uh, when it's in the off position, but when it's in the on position, that's well, clicking now, but it goes through stages where it doesn't click. And it kind of, it's, it's like something gets stuck behind it, you know. And so you can't, you can press it and the pressure will still fire it. But then again, you can also put pressure on the ring and it will fire it. So there's there's a pressure thing going on. Something's not quite right on that one. And so, and also I think it might be firing over and above what it needs to. So I have contacted the, uh, the V Park people and said, you know, my issue and asked them what's up with that. That. so we'll see what they come back with but if they if they don't come back with an answer then obviously I will uh, I will tell you my exact issue with it um, I could try and take it apart and fix it but 
you know, I, if you buy a mod, you don't expect you don't expect to have to take it apart and fix it. So, uh, well, I'm going to see what they say, and then once uh, once I get a reply from them, I will do the review on the power of them. If I don't get a reply from them, I will do the review anyway. It will, I'm sure, be less favourable though. But uh, this white one, this uh, the the 150 so far, I've been having a pretty good time with. So there we go. I do like it. I do like it. And I do like this this uh, RDA still. I think it's a great little cheap and cheerful top airflow RDA. Is there anything else that I can tell you? Well, uh, I think, uh, did I say last week about the iRig? I think I did. I bought an iRig, which is brilliant to make, to do so I can plug my guitar into my computer, my Mac, and... Uh, Use GarageBand to make a load of uh, whizzy soundtracky things when I need some extra music. Uh, but unfortunately, I either I can't work it or it's shit. I can't figure it out. But if I don't know if there's any musos out there amongst you all. But uh, if you use this and you can tell me how I can stop feedback in any level of distortion that I use, that would be super. I have the monitor on. I have the, uh, the, the monitor feedback reduction thing on. Um... I've hooked it all up the way I can, the only way I can think of doing it. And I can, you can only monitor it through the headphones as well, or through headphones that you plug into the iRig and not uh, through the speakers of the computer because you plug it into the headphone jack. And so it thinks it's obviously the, the head, headphone jacks in you. So you, you haven't got the option of external speakers as well. So that's just a bit weird. I don't quite get it, to be honest with you. So if there are, is anybody out there that's used an iRig on a Mac, then, uh, then, then get in touch because it's confusing the bollocks out of me and it's really, really annoying. Uh, I sat down and had a good old play with it the other day and, and thought, yeah, oh, I, I could get on all right with this. Uh, but then it didn't work. So that saddened me greatly. Now then, uh, juice wise, I have been, I'm a little bit all over the show, but you know, Sunday, isn't it? Uh, I've got some DB gluttony from DB liquids at the moment. I'm rocking that in something. What did I just put that in? I'll put that in here, I think. Yeah, this, that's really bloody nice as well. I've got no idea what it's meant to be. Not a Scooby, but it's. I'm really enjoying it. Should we have a look? You got a minute? Let's have a little look. I've got a computer here and everything. Uh, DB Liquids. Da da ba! There it is. Found it. Yes, I'm 18. Yes. Ah, oh, no, then you see. There's no search. Is it flavors or is it premium? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let's just click on flavors. Beta flavor. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they're not in. Uh... No. See, this is the problem when people don't put the flavors on the bottles. It's jolly annoying because you don't know what you're looking for. Gluttony, DB liquids. What's it, what's it meant to taste like? That was that was nice. You gotta love people going past and me. No, well it's not on there. Is it? Is no, it's not on there. And it, I can't see it on their website, so I don't know if this is a brand spanking new one or not. But uh, but no, I've got no idea what it tastes like. But it's bloody nice. Let's see if I can get it on, shall we? Let's let's. I'll tell you what it reminds me a little bit of. It reminds me a hint of Foo's Gold, one of the Plumes of Hazard juices. It does remind me a little bit of that. Uh, oh, is it tobacco? Is it a tobacco flavour? No. No, it's not. In that case, I'm lost. But it reminds me of that. It's a sort of a, not a tobacco as in cigarette tobacco, but a tobacco, uh, I don't know, just a thickness to it. Um, but it's nice. I think I might I might need to get a little bit more of this. Look, that's going down fairly sharpish. Um, but yeah. This is why I don't do juice reviews. Not a clue what it is, but I enjoy it. There we go. What about if we just Google DB Liquids Gluttony? Let's have a look at that. DB Liquids 
gluttony. Uh, oh, oh, we've got someone on here now. Look, we've got something on. There we go. Fuck, I was wrong. See, this is why I don't do Joyce Re Juice reviews. <laughs> Gluttony is a delectable blueberry yogurt tirelessly whipped to perfection. I get none of that. No, not even close. Not even close. But, <laughs> but it's fucking nice. <laughs> oh, I taste like food's gold. No, it doesn't. It's completely fucking different. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't do juice reviews. Um, so anyway, so I've been hanging, going through some of that and that's been really nice. Um, them apples, which is apples. Um, I've, I've been uh, banging through a bit of that and that, that was a bit throaty when I first got that, but it has calmed down quite a lot now. So I've been dripping that. Um, and I've still been uh, going through some of the Mona's Pantry Cloudy Lemonade as well. Uh, we've got the um, Custard Drop um, that Grey Hay sent me a while ago uh, when they sent me a few of the items to give a go on that. And that's that's quite that's quite bright and refreshing as well. So I've been enjoying that. Um, and obviously there's been the normal um, Grumpy Juice, uh, Grumpy Custard as well. What else? This, this, uh, oh no, this Moolet e-liquids, no, strawberry milk, yep. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was really good to start with and then I got that far down and it went, no, no. It's just, it's kind of harsh and, no, just, meh. Although, are you going to believe me after I just got the DB one so wrong? Meh. Liquid is one of those things that there's, it's just so much out there and you know you've we've all got such different tastes that just because i like something doesn't necessarily mean that you will and you know if i have some of these mixed flavors i'll pick up on strawberry or peach or something where you might pick up on something completely different so this is one of the reasons why i don't do juice reviews because it's pointless me liking something and saying oh yeah, it's really good this that, and the other because if you don't get the same passion or the same vibe for the flavor then uh, then you're not going to do it but if you do happen to see this gluttony somewhere, I would definitely, definitely go out and have a little blast of that because I've really, really quite enjoyed it. Um, is there anything else happening? I've got mess everywhere. I really need to tidy up my office. Um, 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 let me have a look on my review pile. I was meant to sort out my home wrecker at the start of the week. Uh, didn't, couldn't, wasn't able to. Uh, so I was hoping to go and see a buddy of mine yesterday to see if I could use his computer so I could do it on his. Uh, I couldn't see, he, he wasn't there so I couldn't see him. Um, so that was a kind of a, a blowout. So that's it I think. That is, I think we've covered everything that's coming up. By the way, uh, we, are, we are awfully close to 10,000 subscribers now which is very exciting. And so let's have a little look at the numbers shall we? 9,579. Ooh, that's crazy. That really is. That is that's bonkers. Thank you ever so much. Very kind of you. Um, but because we're coming up with that, I'm getting a few, I'm getting a few things to give away. Now, I, well, I say giveaway. Uh, I want to do a celebration, but at Christmas time, I did a, a charity raffle for a for a, a sort of an animal homing centre uh, that that does loads of works for loads of work for dogs and and various other animals, and and it went really really well. I think we raised about seven hundred quid with with gift aid uh, on there as well. So I was really really proud of that. Now I think we're going to do a similar thing uh, again when it comes to the uh, the the um, ten thousand sort of area when we hit that i think we're going, I'm going to do another sort of charity raffle try and raise some money i'm going to do a bunch of stuff i've had i've got an extra serpent mini to give away i've got a conqueror to give away uh i think i will have um a, a tank or two from steam crave uh and I'll see if you're not fussy about me using something to review it, then I'll throw a few other bits and bobs in there as well. So we can uh, we can get some some stuff together. I think I'm fairly confident we can do that to get a couple of couple of nice little setups to try and get some some casharoo to charity once again. And yeah, 
I think I'm happy with that. Now, this coming week, I should also, I'm expecting a very cool squonker to arrive, along with another mod as well. So uh, that should be good. And there may be other bits of... Oh, 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 you fucker. Oh, tell you what did come today. No, today, the other day. Which was a bit weird. This. Now, this, that's a spool on top, so you forget about the spool. But this little little black thing with a, with an orange clamp on there is a is a um who's it who's it by vape three D I think they're called. Let me have a little look here. It says on here. This is a three D printed little unit, and the idea is it helps you vaped three D dot com. So vaped as in past tense vape. Uh, v a p e d three d all one word dot com, and this is a little unit that helps you make cartons. Now I wasn't oh, I wasn't too sure about it. I wasn't too sure about it, and it nearly went out the window when I first got it because uh, I was trying to get it all working, and the the the, the clapton wire was just bunching up, and it was all going all over the place, and just muchos fucking around. Um, however, I thought right. This is this is going. It's going out the window, and I'm going to swear at people. But I thought I'll have one more go and see see what happens. Now this is the result of this is a fair fair old size bit of wire there. I mean, what we got there, kind of 35 inches or something um, of wire, and that is dual 26 gauge with 36 gauge Clapton. Now there's zero point in me trying to show this up to the camera because you won't see how tightly this is wound. Uh, but I'll pop a little picture up here and that'll show you the how, how well this is done. And it's actually a really fucking good bit of kit. It's uh, it's it's a little bit ropey in as much as it's kind of, it, it's a little bit, <sighs> You know, just using one of those little clampy things is a bit rough. I'd like to see an all-in-one bit of kit that does it, but I will do a proper review on how to wrap Clapton's with it at some point in the near future as well. But it, it, it works really bloody well, especially when you've uh, all you've got to do is you clamp your clamp everything together, get it going, get it working, and then what I did is I used another clamp. I used uh, used this big bad boy here, stuck it on my uh, on my button on my drill, and just went right there. We go then. And it was making a Clapton on my desk, which was awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> you've got to be happy with things like that. Uh, so yeah, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll try and put a link down in the in the description. But if I forget, it's vaped3d.com, um, which I'll, I'll I will stick down in the bottom. And I think it's a really useful bit of kit. Like I say, a little bit of buggering ass around, and and I wasted a bit of wire to uh, to to get used to it to start with. But once I got it, jobs are good. Easy ways, easy ways. I don't think you're going to be able to do any of the kind of that like your aliens and all that sort of malarkey on it. But if you're just looking at single, double, or maybe even triple, I haven't tried a triple on it yet. Um, triple core Claptons, then then I think it could be a really super simple way for making that happen. So good work, Vape 3D. Good work. I enjoyed it. So I will be making many more. But as you guys know, if you watch the channel, 26 gauge N80. Uh, dual core with a 36 gauge or even a 32 gauge Canthal uh, Clapton is one of my favourite wires to build with. So that's what I tend to make a lot of calls with, just because I really enjoy it. It works really, really well on, especially with the with the 36 gauge Clapton. Works really well on uh, on uh, mechanicals as well as it does regulated devices. So I'm really super happy about that. Now, a couple of other things couple of other things and then we're done how long is this 43 minutes oh my word <coughs> oh dear let's have a vape shall we <clears throat> cheers to you run out of coffee look this was supposed to be a quick one there was something that really annoyed me on, on facebook today today or yesterday and it was a chap in a group just saying um he wanted to get some uh, he wanted to get some juice uh just to blow clouds and that was it he was tired of buying uh, try, tired of buying kind of pre-made stuff and wants somebody to make him some juice uh there's got to be good for big clouds bro and kind of you you mentioned a couple of times it's not all about the juice 
It's not all about the coils. It's not all about the power. It's not all about any of any one of those things. It's an amalgamation of everything. And, you know, it, 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 it wasn't going in. The guy just skipped over it. So I think it's I think it's down to every any one of us that has been vaping for a while that has learned how to build. Pardon me. And that has learned if you cloud or not, if you know how that happens, if you know the mechanics of it, if you know, if you know sort of about your, your not only your resistance, but also building for the right type of, of, uh, of mod and building for the right type of atomizer and all that sort of stuff. It's down to us all to impart as much of that knowledge as we can. Obviously some people just won't listen. And so, you know, if, if they're just quite happy to go steaming on ahead, and then you know fair play at least you tried but it's down to all of us i think to try and educate because if you've been vaping a while like i have uh then you'd have been in a situation where you've you've had to learn to build you know when we were doing things like trying to get sort of sick clouds with uh with igo w's and and drilling out the holes and making them bigger and then trying to go through you know everything from parallel coils to twisted and twisted with paralleled with with single just a whole bunch of different things and we were we were sort of pushing through that sort of things it forced us to learn how to build and we we kind of learned uh, without the mathematics behind it that you know certain level of wick coverage was great going too far and it's going to get too hot in the middle you're not going to be able to wick that well and so on and so forth and unfortunately now it's just much easier for someone to go out and buy something and say right there you go i'll have one of them thank you very much now let's get clouding uh, and it's it's a shame really so if you're if you're an experienced person then obviously you know keep the world smiling keep everybody happy and and safe uh most importantly i saw someone saying that they were going to build a 0.02 on a on a facebook page the other day a 0.02 for fuck's sake and he had a, a ridiculous bloody um ohm reader as well and so there is no way that ohm reader was reading as accurately down to 0.02 not a fucking hope um and so we we do have to try and do our bit to, to keep people safe they're not always going to listen but if we can then we should now the other thing is if you're a new vapor you don't know everything you don't know it. If your mate says 200 watts in a fucking Cleto tank is going to get you sick clouds, bruv, punch him in the face. Just punch him in the face. Because that is not the way of going around it. It's not all about power. It's about... It's about getting everything together. That's why when you look at if you're if you're a cloud chaser, then you look at what people use in cloud chasing competitions. In in most competitions, there is a minimum build um, resistance, and there is also the requirement of using a tube mod. You know, so you're using a mech. You know, something like the Limitless or or whatever else. That's a single eighteen six fifty battery with a specific. Um, minimum resistance which means then it's all about the coil it's how you build the coil it's the I mean it's, it's there's things like heat flux that come into into play and it's all about making that work effectively it's not all about getting 250 watts or 500 watts or a thousand watts into your atomizer that is not going to help if your coil isn't up to the task you're going to get shit other than a whole bunch of flamage so you know just no nah. Sorry, it was a bit of a ramp, wasn't it? But um, no, I think it's troubling now that it's so easy to get into the the high power stuff. But uh, um, and people just, you know, they, they're not interested in listening. And so if you are watching this channel and you are still with me at 45 minutes in, then please, please, please don't think you know everything. We can all continue to learn. Even those of us who have got dogs to listen to outside. That That's not my dog. Um, <laughs> it was the ice cream van last week and his dogs this week was out of way. Um but yeah, so if you're if you're never think you know everything and just go out and learn, you know? With everything in life there's loads of learning. As soon as you think you know everything, then you're you're shit out. You're you're missing out on some great experiences. <sighs> I'm gonna vape now. <laughs> Look at that, it looks lovely, isn't it? Lovely. I'm going to put some more gluttony on. It's ironic that a fat bloke 
he's really enjoying vaping on gluttony. <laughs> oh dear, I make myself giggle. I really do. Um, now, is there anything else I wanted to... Oh, I wanted to tell you about another site. Now, are you a biker? Are you a biker? Are you watching this channel because I've got bike, biker in my name and you thought, oh, that's all right then. Um, I have... Oh, shit, I meant to bring it up. I've had a wallet on a big old thick, chunky chain for years now that I that I uh, stick... In. This isn't vapor related. This is just random bullshit I'm going to talk to you about now. That, um, that I have a wallet on a chain and I put the chain on my belt loop and wallet goes in my back pocket and everyone's a winner the reason was i didn't want my wallet falling out when i was riding that was my initial initial uh, reason for getting it and because i'm a clumsy twat so you know let's try and not have that happen so yeah that happened and then the realization that having that chain on also means that no one can just pickpocket you and wander off with your wallet brilliant so i always wear it I, that, that wallet is never off me even <laughs> even when i should be looking quite smart i'm tending to use that wallet just because it's uh it's it, it's safe you know and it's brilliant for things like vape conventions and all that sort of stuff because you know if you're if you're in the middle of a massive crowd of people unfortunately there are some proper knobheads out there that uh, think that they're more entitled to your stuff than you are so uh it helps you keep your shit together and i was having a little look on facebook today and found this little found this little uh, a little operation down i think he's in devon um now i'm going to put the link down below here because i'll, I'll, I'll pop a couple of pictures up here of his work because i think it's fucking good and if you if there's something that comes up in your country or you know in your particular area of interest that you really like then you want to tell people about it and seeing as i've got no friends i thought i'd tell you um but i think they're really really good they're all handmade and he did tell me the costs of them a little while ago. Um, they're all handmade little bastards. Oh, and by the way, I'm not getting a free one. I'm not promoting this just because of me. Um, when I Once I've got my job situation sorted out, I'll be buying one the same as everybody else. Uh, but I just think they're really, really nice. He's only got a Facebook page at the minute, so I'm sorry if you're not on Facebook, but I can't do anything about that. Uh, he's just made them really, really nice. Now, the Facebook page is 666 Biker Wallets. Sark, sark, sark. Um, biker Wallets. Um, and they, they appear to come in two sizes, kind of like a long one and a, and a medium-sized one. And I think they look the absolute tits. If you're, if you're into something that's kind of a bit chunky and a bit leathery and a bit... Wee, then, uh, then, yeah, it's really, really cool. Now, um... Let me have a look here. Uh, it's a, it's a, it basically it's this guy's, uh, it's the guy's name is Sean. It's his hobby, uh, and he just, I don't know what his main job is, but it, I imagine it's probably leather work wise with, uh, with the quality of, of the work that I think there. Now the medium size wallets that he does is fifty five to sixty pounds. The long ones are seventy to seventy five pounds, and that includes a chain um, and belt loop, whatever that is. Um, and first class postage if you're in the UK. But I did ask him, because I know a lot of you are over in the States. So I did ask him, and he does ship all over the show. He, he sent one off to Holland the other day, so he reckons that uh, he would ship to the States as well, if that sort of rings your bell. But no, I just wanted to highlight him, because I think they're really fucking cool. Um, and I really like him, so there we go. Nah. <laughs> Advantages of just talking uh, camera, eh? Um... I really fucking like this RDA, this X1. Faber's Cloud X1. Go on, son. Nope. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. We are hopefully... Yeah, 53 minutes in with the intro and outro, then that should uh, that should be a bit to uh, to add on. But let's try and keep it just under the hour. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Dean the Vaping Biker with another awfully long vlog. Um, and uh, I hope to see you all at Expo in a couple of weeks time. And if not, you make sure you go out and have a cracking week. Enjoy yourselves. Just positive. Throw positive out to the world. But most of all, you know what I'm going to say? Happy Lord! I'm fading, it's come to an end I feel an obligation to start again